<laughs> For this problem, we want to simplify the cube root of 24. <laughs> well, let me show you first of all how you would simplify the square root of 24. Let's do two problems. Let's do the square root of 24, and let's do the cube root of 24. You've done the square root of 24, and what you do is you break it up and you think, well, 24 has a factor of 4 in it. And so some people rewrite it as 4 times 6, and the square root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 square root of 6. And that's a good way to do it, but here's how I prefer to do it. I prefer for people to break this up in its product of primes. 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And this 2 right here tells you that you need 2 in order to break jail. So 2 times 2 is 4, so a 2 breaks jail, because square root, and then a 2 times 3 is left over. If you do it this way, it makes sense when you do a problem like this. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And that tells you that you need 3 of them to break jail. Uh, that makes so much sense. 2 third root 3, not square root 3. 2 times the third root of 3. And that's how I do that, the Dwyer method.